skiers grasping for life at a makeshift triage unit constructed in the freezing backwoods of northern Vermont. Fortunately, this is just a simulation, but should that actual scenario arise, these students from Sterling College will be ready. We are indeed a four-year college. Every single class is designed and taught with, a, with an experiential uh, pedagogy, and so it means that students are absolutely not passive. Sterling College, located in Craftsbury Common, by skis take the aptly named Common Trail, is a school so focused on ecology that they only offer one major, environmental studies. We really hope that our graduates will go on to be environmental stewards and really think about themselves, their communities, and uh, making the world a better place. With just 150 students, academic dean Laura Spence describes the college as intentionally small, but its classrooms are intentionally large, spanning multiple farms and ecosystems across Craftsbury. It's the best classroom because everything that you're going to learn in school is already outside anyway. And nature, especially in the field of ecology, actually going out and identifying species, practicing the field method, it's a much different experience than learning all that stuff in a lecture hall. Students working hands-on with these expectant mothers make for a very different kind of all-nighter. We have land checks scheduled all throughout the night and day. Um, I've done many 3 a.m., 2 a.m. lamb checks. It's just keeping an eye on who's looking ready. Working this closely with the land has an impact that doesn't end with graduation. We have a lot of students who end up staying in Craftsbury or having small businesses in the Northeast Kingdom or starting farms in southern Vermont. That kind of retention also extends to former faculty members, including local woodturner David Brown. I made a very gradual transition from full-time at Sterling. I was able to like take off one day a week and do woodworking, and then the next year, two days a week. Brown is an avid outdoorsman who taught nature skills at Sterling, including dendrology, or tree identification, a skill he still uses in his current work. This is a great area to be a woodworker because we're blessed with an abundance of, of wonderful hardwoods. So there's the maples, you've got birch, you've got cherry. It's all local wood. In many cases, I cut the trees myself. How long is the process? The process is spread out over sort of up to a year of time from the time I get a tree until I get a finished bowl out of it. It all starts here with an initial crafting of the fresh cut soft green wood. Next, the wood must dry. The rule of thumb for air drying wood is a year per inch. In that time, bowls will distort and need to be reshaped and stained. But once complete, don't expect to find it for sale online. For me, choosing a bowl, a lot of it is, is how the bowl feels when you pick it up, be able to turn it over and look at it and see how it's finished. And the idea of, of buying a bowl based on one thumbnail photograph doesn't make any sense to me. Wow, that's great though. Beautiful. You can have that. Ah, thank you. And more small town connections, woodworker David Brown also says he tries to get on the ski trails every single day. And he volunteers for events at the Crossbury Outdoor Center. Everybody's all together. Mm -hmm. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow night.